the word of God speaks through our conscience, springs through the, the, the lamp in us, the light in us. That is what the spirit of man is the candle of God. I want you to tell the Lord that Lord lighting my candle. Lighting my candle, oh Lord. Because if my candle is off, if my candle is low, I will not be able to see. That's why you want to tell the Lord, lighting my candle, oh Father. Proverbs 20, 27. Lighting my candle, oh Lord. Anywhere my heart seems to be dull. Anywhere I'm not hearing you well. Because God keep on speaking. God keep on speaking, but we have to hear him and know what he's telling us to do. Father, Lord, even as we are ending this month father lord lighten my candle let your spirit ignite oh lord the ability to realign myself to refocus to re, to, to, to redirect my step father lord give to me in the name of jesus that i will not go in the wrong direction i will not go in the way of heresy in the name of jesus enlighten my spiritual darkness enlighten my spiritual eyes oh lord that i will see enlighten my spiritual yes that i will hear when you speak to me i will not go in the wrong direction in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in jesus name we are prayed and you know during the month we said for you to hear god well you must take away distractions a lot of distractions are there a lot of you know background noise are there we don't take time to to, to pray we don't take time to commune with god we don't take time to be alone with god then that is why we are confused we are more confused today i want you to pray that lord the ability the ability to commune with you the ability to take time or to listen to you the ability to lord requires my soul to pause we need to pause the ability to, to to separate myself lord i receive from you today you need it i need it some people are just getting depressed because they are not realigning themselves they are not refocusing i want you to pray abacus chapter 2 verse 1 say i will set myself apart and wait to hear what the lord is going to say i want you to tell the lord lord the grace to wait that grace to listen the grace to descend our lord the grace to descend your voice from the voice of the enemy the grace to descend your voice from the voice of condemnation the grace to descend your voice from the voice of accusation lord i receive from you oh lord in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in second Kings chapter 6 verse 17 say lord open his eyes and immediately his spiritual eyes open his soul meaning that when you hear god spiritually when you see things spiritually you will not be afraid oh yes the spirit of fear will be banished from you that's why i want you to pray father open my spiritual eyes open my spiritual ears let me see clearly when I see clearly, I will not go and be trading with my enemy. When I see clearly, when they put something in food for me to eat, I will see it and I will not eat that food. When I see clearly the deceivers, when they come, I will not fall into their trap. That's why you want to pray, Father, let me see clearly. Let me hear clearly. Let me see clearly that I will not be a prey to my enemy. The church will not be a prey to our enemy. In the name of Jesus. Father, let us see clearly where you are leading us to. Because his word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. As I see clearly, I will be able to run this race to the end. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That is my prayer for you. That is my prayer for myself. Because do you know? Someone heard. Someone was sleeping. In those days, they will be calling us when we are sleeping. We won't yet see. They will come and knock us uh, or pour water upon us before we wake up. But somewhere, even in deep sleep, was able to hear God speaking to him for good times, calling his name. I want you to pray, Father, help me to be sensitive. That Lord, I will not sleep the sleep, oh Lord, of condemnation. Help me to be sensitive. That that nudge is that just prompting from you. I will be sensitive. Someone heard. I will hear you speak to me. I will hear you call me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are still going to pray one more prayer. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6, it says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Morika Santa. 
any enemy that refused to repent, I want you to pray. Lord, your word says it is a righteous thing for you to recompense trouble to those who trouble me. Father, trouble them. Except they repent. Whoever wants me down, Father, let them go down first. They will go down. I will not go down because I'm a child of God. Father, Lord, whoever gathers against me or against your church or against my family, Father, your word says it's a righteous thing to recompense them. They are troubled me. Let them be troubled. Let their household be troubled. Peace will run away from them. In the name of Jesus, except they repent. Whoever wants me down, they will go down. I will see after the order of a man. I will see their deaths in the name of Jesus. Whoever wants to trouble my life, trouble the church of God, let them be troubled. In the name of Jesus, let them be troubled. Peace will run away from them. They will be troubled to their grave, except they repent in the name of Jesus. Suffer not a wish to live. Oh yes, suffer not a wish to live. Whoever wants to trouble me or my household or the church of God, they will be troubled permanently in the name of Jesus.